G'day and welcome to Mr. Code's STEAM podcast, where we bring to you the latest news on STEAM and education. It is January 2025, and as we somersault our way into the new year, I hope you've got your new year resolutions in place. For this channel, I aim to make more regular videos, starting with this video. First LEGO League has teased its next season's theme, and judging by all of the brownish layers and fault lines, it looks like a geology related theme this year, unless it's actually a magnified cross section of someone's skin, in which case the theme is dermatology. It is so refreshing to see more diverse ranges of sciences being highlighted in FLL, because after having two seasons based around cities and two seasons based around water, I was honestly expecting another space related season. For your FLL innovation projects, you can start thinking about talking to mining experts, visiting geological landmarks, and of course, reaching out to your nearest geologist. Oh dear, no, not the dirt people! The Oxford University Computing Challenge has been replaced by the now simply named Coding Challenge. Dropping the Oxford University part of the challenge seems like a huge hit on the prestige of the competition that lots of students, including my ones, study for. I've reached out to Bebris UK and the Raspberry Pi Foundation to find out more about the name change and I will post an update if I receive a response. Other than dropping the name drop, the new coding challenge no longer has year groups and will instead be based on five difficulty levels, two of which are blockly based and three of which are text based. The exam is now shortened from 60 minutes to 45 minutes, and finally there will no longer be two rounds of competition, as the coding challenge will only have one round. For live coding tutorials and the OUCC and the new coding challenge and to see these podcast videos a week before everyone else, be sure to become a channel member today by clicking on the join button below. The VEX National Championships in Australia have concluded, but there are still lots of tournaments being held around the world, where we are seeing really innovative ways to score insanely high points in VEX IQ Rapid Relay. The new meta taking over the world is an intake roller that grabs the ball before it has a chance to fall to the ground. Basically, it removes any randomization in the game, and personally I think the game design committee will make a rules update to shut this approach down, because it basically means that all robots will need this same intake design to have any chance of winning. There is currently an open Q&A question on the RACF website, and I will post an update on this if there is an official response from Vex. In non-education news, NVIDIA just announced their latest graphics card, the RTX 5070, using Blackwell architecture at the CES 2025 event. At this point, these massive numbers are almost meaningless. 92 billion transistors, 4000 AI tops and G7 memory. The new card just has better performance and better efficiency, okay? And it will definitely run your game. The biggest takeaway is how efficient the new card is compared with the old architecture, making it possible to run on smaller laptops and it is also cheaper to boot. Finally, the BBC reports on the potential use of NASA's humanoid Valkyrie robot that has the potential to replace human astronauts in the future. With advancements in AI, the report highlights the benefits of sending bots into space, like not complaining if we leave it stranded in orbit for a few months. That's it from me today. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what you'd like me to cover in my podcast, feel free to send me a message or comment below. Until next time, bye bye.